Your old amorotic pinhead Act like the thing is not dead And didn't run into a brick wall And full tilt already Let me help you fill the gap in memory Les paradoxes temporels He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practice, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus! May Tetanus be with us! Bah, hey. My prophetic dreams can oracle away all they want. I will never, ever grow a mustache! Hello, stranger. New in town? But Rufus, I attend the Barbecue Thursday Festival every year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And your name is? Zune, current grill champion from Sierra Benzoli. Sierra Benzoli? Well, I always thought that place only had three inhabitants. It, which doesn't mean that the title wasn't hotly contested. Fuego and Petro are also very skilled in handling mentholated spirits. Shame that they weren't able to compete this year. Let me guess, an accident at work? Let's just say they should have made the shish kebabs with much more shish and a lot less kebab. <laughs> do you know how to catch an elephant? Of course. Why do you think I've got an elephant gun back there? I thought it was to show off. Uh, that too. But elephant hunting is a great tradition for us. It goes back to the days when Hannigal and Hunnigus both got the idea of riding over the amalgams. I thought they were only looking for fillings for tusks. Which probably didn't make the meeting of their armies any less bloody. As you probably know, there's nothing more dangerous than an elephant with a toothache. Effectivement. There's an elephant in the area. Ah, I'll only believe that when I see it. Well, he's very good at hiding. Not exactly typical for an elephant. You sure that you don't mean a wombat or a groundhog? Yeah, I think I would know the difference. Quite a few people think that, and you end up having to collect them from the circus with wombat bites. Oh, poor Uncle Diego. <laughs> Can I borrow your elephant gun? No! I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen to be a big game hunter. Ha! <laughs> if you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Much too easy to hit. Professionals hunt small animals. Ducks! Or rats. A gun like this won't do for them. You need something like a high-precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts. And blowpipes. And bees for the nerve poison. On voit euh, Tuck en bas là, si je dis pas de bêtises, ça a l'air d'être une grosse silhouette grise verte euh, accrochée au réverbère. Oh come on, please, lend me the elephant gun. I said no, I only loan it out to other big game hunters. Can you build me a high precision blowpipe? Depends. Are you a licensed big game hunter yet? Uh, yes. Then show me your license or take a hike. Oh please. I need that high precision blowpipe really urgently. Then show me your license or take a hike. So, what's tasty today? What do you think? Barbecue Thursday is Groundhog Day. Wasn't Rampage Monday always Groundhog Day? No, Barbecue Thursday, I'm quite sure. Huh, well, I'll pass just the same. I'm just not big on leftover plot idea. Uh, Groundhog. What's all this nonsense with the lights and the barbecues? It's what they call Barbecue Thursday. I'm talking about you guys always turning off both whenever I get close. Oh, that's perfectly normal. Fire prevention measures. Don't worry about it. I wasn't planning on it. Allez, well, then, on va bye poursuivre l'aventure. Yeah, whatever. On va vers 303 mètres et on va parler où. What's going on? Why aren't you playing? We haven't learned that song up by heart yet. And without light, we can't see the music. Then why not play something you know by heart? Hmm. I think I can come up with something. Our hit, Rudy's Dental Work, went wrong. <laughs> oh, please don't. I've already had to put up with that howling long enough. Still, much better than having to gaze at your mug all day. Hey! Do you think that I suffer from ear potatoes? If he would just play with more feeling and less saliva, he could maybe relax during the breaks. Et on retrouve le petit That's either my Wenzel. old sidekick Wenzel or a talking jack-o'-lantern. Wenzel, is that you? I thought you were a jack-o'-lantern. Honest. Very funny. 
funny. But great to see that you decided to join in with Barbecue Thursday after all. The hell I did. I'm just here to pick Tony up. Oh, yes, the balloon. Have you really thought that one through? I know. A week in a confined space with her might make me suicidal, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be good for our relationship if I left the planet without her. I just meant whether you're sure about going through with the whole thing. You've split once before. If your plan fails again, you could break more than just the altimeter, or your nose, or the roof of the kindergarten. Don't worry, little man. This time, I've thought of everything. I didn't even bother to install an altimeter, for example. Tony trusts me. And rightly so. You'll see. Eh oui. Well then, let the games begin. Do you have someone to play against? Me, me. Yes, exactly. What about the rat boy? He's not allowed to play. Huh? Why not? Because he's still too young. My name is Leonardo Alfonso Miguel Garcia de... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rat Boy works. No one can remember all that nonsense. Nonsense? My name has won prizes. Rat, 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 rat. He's the Rat Boy. Oh, why is everyone so mean to me? <laughs> Aren't you allowed to play with the other rats? If, if, if you mean the Rotten Fruit King, I'd love to, but I'm still too young. That's right, Rufus. The Rotten Fruit game can only be played by adults. Did I step in a cricket nest or something? I keep hearing this chirping from somewhere around my ankle. Quel sac, quel sac, 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 sac. Someone forgot a baked potato in the embers. Must be my lucky day. Ouais, des patates. Ouch, that Aye. cursed tuber is still glowing hot. I'll have to cool it down somehow. Oh. Then explain it to me again. What exactly do you see in that fool? Huh? Rufus, he's not the right man for you. Is he even a man? Huh? I'd say he's more a complete loser. Shut your trap, Lotto. Nah, he's got no job, no manners, and the biggest thing he hasn't got, a future. I'm warning you, Lotto. Don't diss my friend. Ah, oh, come on, Tony. Do you really trust in that good for nothing? You heard Tony, Lotto. Leave her in peace. No, I want to know. Do you really believe he's going to get you two to Elysium? Huh? You're more likely to see me in a dress. <laughs> for the last time, Lotto, shut your mouth. You could have the pick of anyone, Tony. If only you'd open your eyes, you would see this. This here is a man. A real man. Lotto, please. A manly, beardy man. The furniture is brand new. How about it? You want to touch my beard? Huh? Chickadee, chickadee. Uh, funny, I have this twinge in my leg. I wonder if that means we're gonna have a storm. Oh, <laughs> Lotto, what oh, happened Dieu. to you? You can. <laughs> <rire> ça fait deux fois que je le vois, mais ça me fait toujours rire. Allez, dialogue à la con. Lotto looks different. Does he have a new hat? Hey Lotto, call me. <coughs> call me Lottie. <rire> so you're really a lady now? Why? What's <coughs> What? What's wrong with that? Did I say there was anything wrong with that? On the contrary, congratulations on this bold step. You know, to be honest, I've always had the feeling there was a great woman somewhere inside of you. You calling me fat? What? No! Oh, sorry. I just feel so insecure. This is such a big step into the unknown. Don't worry. Big steps have always been your trademark. Hey, it'll be totally awesome if 
Oh, it would be totally awfully sweet of you if you gave me a leg up with an honest evaluation. Sure, as long as it's not a leg over. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there anything about the new me that could do with improving? Uh, let me think. You don't have a bust. Rufus! Control those wandering eyes! It's very... Unbecoming! Could be, but where would Lotto have looked? Put your hand on your heart and tell me it's not half a dirty turnip too close. Mm, you're right. Maybe I should... Remove the underwire from my manly men's corset. I've been constricted by this symbol of androcracy for long enough. <clears throat> Here, be a sweetheart. And get this thing out of my sight! Is there anything else? Attention, on rentre dans le trash. Your legs are too hairy. Oh my goodness! Uh, you're right! Huh. It's a good job I haven't thrown my razor away yet! Ow. Ah. Darn that hurts! Good job! Hang in there! Oh, oh damn it, I'm dying! Ah! I feel for you, buddy! What? Oh, oh, I just mean... <laughs> oh, this sure stings! <laughs> Pfft, cry, baby. Is there anything else? I don't Your legs are still too hairy. I'm on it. It's just such hard work. I need something better than this. If only I'd held on to my laser hair remover. Lotto had his hair roots lasered? He was in a cycling, okay? Hey, we Your on. voice is too masculine. Whose voice is too masculine? Uh, did I say masculine? No, a Valkyrie-like. That's that's what I wanted to say. Better. What you need is a complete makeover. We can go shopping, try on different clothes, groovy music, while I stand in front of the fitting room making eloquent facial expressions. Like this. Or this. Or this. Finally, it's off to a beauty salon and... Stop! 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 I'm sorry to curb your enthusiasm, but there is... Straight into media stereotypes. Just because I'm a lady now, one transformation is more than enough for one day. Aw, oh, man. Voilà, voilà, voilà. <laughs> <laughs>